got a new toy! <laughs> Guys, this is the Traxxas UDR, which is super realistic. The trouble is, it's not really that durable. So Armour came out with this, the Mojave. Trouble is with this one, although it's super durable, it's not that realistic. So Losi, 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 whatever, have come out with this. And it's mahoosive. And this is the Losi Super Baja Ray 2.0. Check it out guys, that looks absolutely epic. Well, maybe apart from that bit there, and that bit, and that bit. But that aside, check it out. So up front, we've got double wishbone suspension with coilover shocks. Coming round the rear, we've got a solid live axle with more coilover shocks. Metal chassis, look at the size of these steering links. Plastic drive shaft, but with metal ends. Then we've got this rubber apron up front to protect the body shell. Some actual spare tyres that can actually be used as real tyres. Look at that, they're BF Goodrich mud terrains. By the looks of it, it's got functioning light bars here, here, and on the rear as well. Let me know in the comments. Which one would you take? And look in there, it's got actual King Shocks. Well, King sponsored anyway. So if we could have the realism of the UDR and the durability of the Mojave all wrapped up in one package, I think, guys, we're going to have a winner. And check out the size difference. Look at that. On the front, the disc brakes turn. Well, they're fake disc brakes. But on the rear, they don't. So next, we've got to see what batteries we've got that are going to go in there. So to get the battery compartment open, you pull that lever out. Look at that. Plenty of space in that battery compartment. But we're going to have to change these connectors. Because all of my LiPos run XT90s. So Jen's Ace have just sent me some of these batteries here to try out. So these are 4S LiPos. Put the two together. 8S. Now I can usually tell with a good quality LiPo because they've got a decent bit of weight behind them and they feel really solid and flat. And I've used Gen's Ace before and I've had some really good results. Check that out. They fit in there perfectly but there's plenty of space for bigger batteries. But I quite like running my cars lightweight because it makes them more durable. And by the way, if you want to know where you can get the car from and the batteries, there's going to be links to all of that down below. Also, if you want more techno babble, there's going to be all that lot down below too. So a new body shell for this is around about $200. So what we're going to do is strengthen the body up with this drywall tape and shoe goo. Just like we did on this X-Max here. Usually an X-Max body lasts me about one outing. But now we've done this drywall tape and shoe goo modification. It's going to last about 10 times longer, probably even more. So we're going to be doing that over on the live stream. I'm going to put a link to replay that live stream down below. And then we're going to take it out and give it a rip. We've got all the drywall tape and the shoe goo on there now. So we may as well show you the inside of this car while it's all taken apart. So you can see the shock servo and motor there. ESC up top. Here's our little XT90 hot glue conversion. Check it out. And here you can see a little bit more of the rear suspension. Let's get it all back together again and then we can take it out for a blast boom and there we go and ready for action so i pulled off some of these stickers here enough waffle let's go in the house. Hello. We got Aitas in the house. We got Ian and Claire in the house. We got a dog in the house. What well, you got, Steve? Uh, this is the HSP. Oh, I can't remember what. But... That is the Banggood special. It was really, really slow. And we said we'll give it to Steve and we'll turn it into something cool. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what happened? He's turned it into a short course truck. That's got the solid live axle on the rear. And it's brushless as well. Yeah, 4S. Yeah, 4S. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, oh. Stempy over there, he's got his big rock that's held together with cable ties and glue. glue. I haven't got around to uh, doing the shopping bits yet. Oh dear. Come on there, Stem. DJ in. <laughs> what happened? Kev's broken it already. What else you bought, Stephen? Got his X Max. He's got his Tonka. What are you bought with you? X Max. Ian, you hungry? No. <laughs> Is Claire hungry? No, not oh, yet. Not yet. Not yet. It's the same as the UDR, aren't it? Oh no, look! Oh, no. Oh no, look what I've done to the body! Oh! Oh! Oh, come, it's game over! <laughs> I thought it would. What happened? We're good. Footage. Oh, what happened, Stem? <laughs> What's going on? Knackered. Ah, oh, the zip tie didn't work. <laughs> In the face. You gave your wife a facial. <laughs> <good. laughs> so, race. Down there to the grass, and the first back again wins. Is everybody ready? We got Ian's X Max, we got Steven's X Max, and we got the SBR 2.0. Ready, steady, go! Oh! Oh! So you got a win for Ian, but I think Ian turned round a bit too soon. Go again then. I reckon next race, we got to take it as far as the eye can see. Set. Go oh, Mama wins! Oh, we're not gonna. The SBR's got it! <laughs> but Steven's X Max did do well. What have you done to that, Steve? It's on six S. Only on six? <laughs> well, I'll fit the belt drive and take it back out. Here oh, we've got a different motor? Yeah. This had a TP in it last time. Feel that motor is. Not warm at all. Oh, that's cold. So you've only max five. What motor is it? Rocket 1600 KV. That's on 1950 gear. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to push this back in a bit. You fixing it with a stick? Wow. Well, Claire? You hungry? Yes, Kev. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> oh, that worked. Oh. Thanks. Stem hungry? No, I'm alright. I should have just eaten. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're covered. It's on my head. <laughs> my foot will land on my head. Yeah, it's, it's in my eye. <laughs> What's that on there, Claire? Clay face mask. Oh, look at the state of it now.
<laughs> I don't care about the camera, I don't really want the car smoke. Oh my god, that just takes off! Well, that only just about made it. Oh, I didn't even it. try! <laughs> Let's go slowly. Oh, that's like no effort at all. Uh, go on. No, that's right. No, 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 no. I volunteer. No, you'll kill it. No, I won't. He won't. You're like a walking demolition derby. If I had to give it to you or to Stem, I'd have to, I'd have to flip a coin. It's just have to try in the lake yourself. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Look at that. Mitchell's in control of the X Max. How long is it going to last? What? Stem, what are you doing? Oh, toy wrap mission again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh my god! What are you doing, Mitch? I tried to jump that. Went like that way. With professionalism there. So this has had no spare parts since the last outing. Oh, there goes Stephen. Oh, tumble rumble. What have you done, Stem? Ah, uh, cable tie bodge. Ah, uh, cable tie racing. Here we go. <laughs> Ta da! Uh oh. <laughs> right, trophy driver. <laughs> ah, I'm not in your life! Stem just flat out or nothing, isn't he? That's how you get the fun of it. That's it, Stem. There we go. That's it, Stem. You trash it, mate. Said about me trashing it. <laughs> I'm a good driver, ish. All right, do you want another go, dear? Possibly. Go on in. Ah, oh, the battery done. Ah, oh, steps flattened it, and it still works. What are you doing, Stem? Right, lock this up. So all cleaned up and oh my God, guys, what an absolute beast. I absolutely love it. And it's got to be one of my favorite RC cars. So if you want to know where you can get it from and more techno babble and how much it costs and all that stuff, there's going to be a link to all of that down below. But for now, I'll see you on one of these videos over here.